I'm Kathleen Losa, I manage the Vertex Contact Centre in Dingwall in the Highlands. Um, Vertex is a worldwide um, business process outsourcing company that works in various sectors. My role in the Highlands is managing a local government um, account, which is Westminster City Council. And in Dingwall we manage 45 key council services on behalf of our Westminster client. The programme I participated in was the Entrepreneur Development Programme at MIT in Boston in 2010. Um, following on from that, I participated in a few of the workshops back in the UK. I applied for the EDP course um, on the back of significant growth plans for um, our company Vertex, particularly in the public sector, and generating quite a bit of growth in the Highlands, so I think it was a good start for me supporting that growth plan for the company, and also just for my own personal development, um, to just give me some more confidence in presenting and sales because we were going through quite a big new opportunities growth plan. My expected experience from EDP was it was going to be a particularly challenging 10 days, which it was. Um, invigorating 10 days, um, really looking forward to the networking aspects of meeting so many people throughout the world that really would become part of my network um, on the longer term, which it has been. Um, really looking forward to, I was really looking forward to the sales um, workshops, um, the elevator pitch, um, which were all hugely um, beneficial and the practical experience throughout the 10 days was invaluable. We actually were generating an actual business plan to present back at the end, which was um, hugely successful. I think the, the, the main differences of, of attending MIT and the EDP programme as opposed to a typical um, Scotland classroom programme was the number of attendees and the network and mentorship of the people participating in those programmes. Um, I've kept in touch with um, probably in excess of 20 people from MIT last year, um, especially my core group. The actual facilitators in MIT have actually grown and nurtured their own private ventures as well. So they're not just teaching from the textbook, they've actually had lots of practical experience in setting up venture capital programmes, etc. So it's really good. We, when we came back in 2010, we were currently going through a contract extension tender with Westminster City Council, um, and I was part of the project team to do that. Um, so that was not just doing what we do currently for Westminster, but actually rationalising and improving the service while saving Westminster significant um, finances. Um, so we had to really transform the way we were operating. So we went through a good six months of transformation projects, and then ultimately signed a contract extension with Westminster, um, creating another three years' worth of um, contract up in the Highlands. And, and probably more recently, um, over the last eight months, we've been working on um, migrating up of new services to the Highlands. We've managed to take all the emergency and social services work up. From Westminster, we've gone from 230 full-time staff to 300 full-time staff. Um, which is also seeing the operation being open 24-7 um, from mid-October. We are currently in the process of working with Highlands and Islands Enterprise to look at additional facilities um, in and around the Highlands um, and also potentially looking to expand on our home working trial and potentially doing some community shoring. We have a number of new business bids at final stages at the moment, which will allow us to deliver more of a larger government shared service from the Dingwall operation, which will create um, significant opportunities next year, potentially in the excess of over 100 new staff. Um, we've certainly worked together producing various business cases to help us with some of that growth, those growth plans, which have been um, part of the deciding factor in us winning some of that new business. I think the benefits for the Highlands is that businesses continuing to operate in the Highlands whilst developing international relationships and business. Um, it just illustrates that you can do this and still be based up in the north of Scotland. The other benefits are for um, people that work as part of large organisations is really becoming better leaders in the Highlands and being able to go on to promote job opportunities for people in the Highlands and generate new business and really advocacy of the Highlands I think is a, is a real strong part of it, of the community group that has gone away to MIT. But I think for the, the biggest benefit I've seen with some of the smaller businesses going to 
do international business, which was great, great success.